Okay. All right. Today we're going to do the impossible. Yeah, we are going to explore all of Thailand in one day. Can we do it? Watch out. guys we may have told you guys a little white lie because we aren't really traveling to all provinces in one day no we're not going from province to province in one day that's kind of impossible i'd imagine i don't know whatever anyway we're not doing it but we did come to the ancient city for those of you who don't know the ancient city museum is the world's largest outdoor museum located here in bangkok thailand yeah, it's a really simple train ride actually. And they have um, a little trolley system at the end of the train stop to bring you here for free. Mm -hmm. um, we missed it, we didn't get to make it, but I mean, hop in the back of a tuk-tuk or it was like eight baht yeah. to get here. But yeah, it's literally at the end of Bangkok. Well, there's no head of the table, it's circular. <laughs> mm. First off, it's 5,000 degrees out, so please excuse our sweat. It's hot. It's hot. It's really hot. the biggest museum in the world a fun fact about it is that it's actually laid out just like how the country is yeah so it's as if you're going to each structure in every province of thailand it's super cool and a lot of the structures are replicas of what you will find in those provinces and some of them are actually the actual ones that were just relocated here see i didn't know that yeah we all learned something new <laughs> here um, you know what i love babe what's that I love that here in Asia, um, they really pay respect to like their culture and the craftsmanship that goes. Yeah, I agree. Everything's immaculately done. They're not doing it just to do it. There's also like a religious reason behind it. I'm assuming I can because there's no other reason it would be here, right? Oh, look at the fish. <laughs> Uh, now that cases are going down here in Thailand, the country is starting to open up slowly. There's the Phuket sandbox, there's the Koh Samui, uh, the Krabi. What I'm trying to get at is that um, more foreigners are starting to come visit Thailand. And it could be hard trying to see everything um, that Thailand has to offer. So the ancient city is a good place to come to if you are on a short holiday. All right, I'm not sure if we talked about this already, but when you get here, you do have a few options of transportation. So you can rent a bicycle or you can be like Jose and I and... Wait, it's not gonna turn around. There we go.
Wow. You, yeah, everything's beautiful, but this is like next level. This is iconic. Like you have to be here to see what we're about to show you. It's beautiful. These are carved out of wood. This is wood. Hey, um, reminds me of the Sanctuary of Truth. Mm-hmm. That was my first thought too. And fun fact, the man behind the Sanctuary of Truth is also the man behind this museum. Look at him dropping all this fun fact knowledge. And if you don't know about the Sanctuary of Truth, Make sure to check out the video we just posted of the Sanctuary of Truth. Hashtag shameless plug. No. You hear that crackling? It's our damn <laughs> freaking. Yeah. All right, so as you're walking around here, you're going to just find things that are super freaking cool out of nowhere. And I found what looks like a lion. It's a ghost museum. <laughs> can I, you can never turn this around. So this is it. But the reason why I'm obsessed with it and like have to go in. What? What? What is this? Uh all right, I have a question, babe. Oh gosh, here we go. Riddle me this. Do you think the Tiger King will approve of this? Don't know her. With that being said, wow. later, my cool cats and kittens. All right, guys, we're going inside the lion's mouth. Look at those claws. I should get a fresh mani. <laughs> What are those big eyes I see? Oh my gosh. That is terrifying. Take the best shoes off. Stay with me. Why are you walking? Wait, that's how people get killed. Yeah, but they that's split what up. You'll, you'll never survive. What if Ryan just came up and smacked you? Let's do it, girl. Alright, so that was scary and was, cool at the same time. Yeah, it was super awesome. Like, I love when we find things that we did not expect like that, and they're all over Thailand. We love Thailand. And what made it scary was that. The lights and nothing was on. It was just more so the ambiance and then those like humans, demons. It was awesome. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Look at her. It's so serene. 
This is a story about a girl named Lucky. Ning Ai, the most beautiful girl in Kokum City, had secret trysts with Fan Dong, the ruler of Pafang. Her beauty, unparalleled and celebrated, was eventually discovered by Naga Prince, but he did not succeed in winning her heart. Finally, he attempted to trick her by disguising himself into a white squirrel in order to get close to her and kidnap her from Fa Dang. The white squirrel was killed and squirrel's meat is fed upon the people in the town. The Mandap housing, the footprint of the Lord Buddha in Saraburi, is considered one of the most sacred places in Thailand. The architectural style dates back to the Ayutthaya period. The footprint of the Lord Buddha in Saraburi has been a sacred place of pilgrimage since the Ayutthaya period. Finally made it to the Instagrammable location, which is the Sumeru Mountain. According to the Thai cosmology, Sumeru Mountain is considered the pillar of the world as well as the center of the universe. The mountain, supported by the Anoda fish, stays above the surface of the water. It is the residence of spirits ranging from deities in heaven to devils in hell. Each of them is disguised by wisdom and morality. All right, as you can see behind it, we got the fish or the shark or the fish. Yeah. Anyway, it's beautiful. You've seen this picture probably 5,000 times if you looked at Thailand pictures. It's just as beautiful in person as it is in those photos. So definitely it's number 110. Yes. Yeah. So make sure this is a spot you visit no matter what. And look at his chompers. Like they're Come on. so huge. Like. He may not look as big as what it looks like on the camera, but comparing my head size to like... Which is massive, you guys. Massive. I'm not even like an appetizer for him. I'm a snack. <laughs> like that. Oh, she's holding it way up there. I wish you guys could see this. Oh, I'm Focus on the road. <laughs> Attention. These are actually made, these are, the walls are actually made out of little Buddhas. That is so cool. Yeah, we mean the whole entire temple. guys we are about to leave ancient city we had so much fun there's so much to see i think we've been here like five hours mm -hmm. five hours lot to see. what is going on wait go back you have to get him. all right we're going back because we're going back because this just caught us off guard hi <laughs> hi what's up dudes 
do that. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for tagging along. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be alerted on our next upcoming video. All right, next time guys. Later. Bye. All right, so we're back. Now we're actually leaving, but uh, we went to another, we went back to one of the temples that we wanted to see more of last time. Um, and we were flying a drone to take a photo of us for, you know, our thumbnail. And um, the drone, <laughs> the wind picked up and knocked the drone stationary position into a tree and then in from the tree into the lake I'm so sad I'm so, so sad. I want to cry but we're alive it's fine as a drone that's our day we're gonna end it here yeah we're, we're going home like for real for real going home found an ancient artifact. And what that see it is? Is it a blackout? What is that? I don't know. It's like the rarest thing here. <laughs> we have lived in Thailand for I don't know how long. We've literally been waiting to see one of these dudes. It's big. Hi. Uh-uh.